guys, how y'all doing? It's Pete Mercer here. So, 28th of September, it is a Saturday, and yeah, woke up at 144 pounds. So, basically, over the last couple of days, I've been speaking to Alberto a bit, and we're really trying to um, prioritize what the goals are. Um, so, whenever I sent my check in, I would say, I was like, okay, so my weight went up from like 130. I think it was 139, 140, up to 145 um, over the course of a week, and then down to 143, and I was like, the scale's going everywhere, it's going up too quick, and I was panicking, because everyone keeps stressing um, the important part of a reverse diet or recovery diet, um, or even the general consensus is, when you're going to bulk, you want to bulk slow, it's slow as like one to two pounds a month. That kind of, you know, those are those are ballpark figures and ranges and things that you tend to hear quite a lot, and and because of that, I'm like, but this this isn't good because whenever it was like we were losing weight for the show, um, it was so slow and controlled, and now things have been a bit in the air and stuff, and um, all that sort of stuff. We're trying to get my metabolism back and hormone recovery, and uh, just get back to student normality, um, and that's going well. Coming back to normality is going well. But I just need to like take a step back and think the scale is not the important thing here. It's not the be all and end all. We can look at the body composition. We can look at the personality. We can look at the training and how things are actually going objectively without having to worry about the scale because it doesn't necessarily account for everything. In fact, it seems to account for very little because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what weight you are. It Depending on what your goals are, it could be judged entirely on um, your performance and your physical appearance. And you know, you whatever weight you are is whatever weight you are. Uh, it, it, it's not like you've got a sudden number which means boop, this happens. It might mean it happens for you, but it won't happen for someone else. So we're trying to like slack in a lot of things. And the big thing we want to focus on again or now is um, not food not being an important thing. And by that I mean what we want to focus on is training because I'm that's what I want to do. Being a bodybuilder, I want in this off season or gain season to put on mass, to put on muscle mass, to put on size and to put you know, to up my strength numbers. And and to do that, you know, general consensus, being a caloric surplus or be it maintenance, whatever that uh, fluctuating undulating number may be. Um and and you have to to, to grow to grow essentially. So um if I'm stuck thinking about meal times and foods and that kind of takes a bit of the focus away from from the training, which is now I think you know, the important aspect, and it should be a case of you don't have to worry about food, you don't have to worry about getting everything down to the ground. It should be the reins need to to slacken as time goes on, um, especially over the course of years, um, and and certainly little changes over the course of months. So, uh, some advice I've been given is I have to <laughs> say let's let's have um a few meals outside of the food scale. So let's say at least. One every seven to ten days, and that so it's that that kind of thing. It's go out for a meal, or or guesstimate things, or, or you know go down and have a, a pre-packaged, I don't know, burrito or sandwich or chip or something like that. There, just look at it and think, this is what I think the numbers are. Put those numbers in my fitness pal or whatever you use to track your food intake for the day or whatever, uh, and be content with that and just leave it. And if it's right, great. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You've got time. To practice and get used to it. So um, yesterday was my refeed, and I had a Chinese. I guesstimated the numbers, um, and I woke up today, um, 144. So that was like two and a half pounds heavier than yesterday. But hey, it's it's a refeed, and I've now got, you know, my refeed's now 70 fat, 450 carb, 180 protein, whereas it was 60 fat and 160 protein. So not only have I got more food to play with on the refeed, you know, I was there was there was more guesstimation involved because I've been very conservative with my eating out choices. So things like you know, oven grilled chicken and chips. I mean you can you can account for that if you know how it's cooked. Or what you can do is you take the food, you weigh it out and then you find values for those foods. Um put them together, maybe add a little bit of fat, a little bit of carb, a little bit of protein. And you've got a safe guesstimate. Um so I need to just kind of wing it and, and just trust in myself and know that what we're doing is, is, is right, healthy and the best way to approach it. So that's that's something. Um, and then we're going to try and mess around meal times because it was 
funny thing, Alberto said in the check-in was he said, it's now, I don't know, 8 o'clock, so he said, I've been away for two hours, I haven't eaten anything, because I don't care. Um, and it's it's that it's that simple, you, sh you shouldn't have to be like, I need to eat at this time, and this time, and this time, I need to eat this amount of food. So, here's what we're doing. Um, general plan for today, um, funny thing is I didn't get to bed until a bit later last night, and the Footman laptop broke on me. I think the uh, the battery just disconnected or something like that there because it was rendering the video that I would have uploaded last night, and I just went, Goop! uh, turned off and it was too it was too late for me to be like no I am not rendering this and uploading it again so it will be out this morning, at some point um so I'm trying not to get too worried about things like that there. I am putting up the content. The content will continue to come. And I'll try and make it to the best of my ability, but if something goes wrong in the night, I'm not going to ruin my day because of it so just an, another little thing there so because i didn't get to bed and sleep until closer to well, after 11 it's it's like seven o'clock i got my i got up at half five i well i didn't even i don't even I think i don't even think my alarm went off i know that i got up uh spontaneously at five and i was like oh i'll just lie here for a bit and then boom woke up and i looked at my phone and i thought oh i thought it was five again but it wasn't no it was seven so because I got to bed an hour and a half later, I actually woke up instinctively an hour and a half later. So that's that's fine. And because I don't have to go to work until three, I'm not in a massive hurry. So let's not worry about it. It's it's good. Um, freedom, relaxed. That's what we're, we're shooting for. So plan, breakfast. Then I'll go out, train, chest and back today. Training routine is still the same. So I'm going for that there. No idea what the numbers are just now. They've, they're written down, so we'll see. Um, still shooting for those. Um, PRs on the main lifts. Today should be good because of the refeed, um, so I should be able to, to knock this one out hopefully. Daily, uh, total daily energy expenditure is up considerably from working 13 hour shifts. Recovery on that basis has been a little bit down, so it's been a bit tougher to hit those PRs, but still doing it, so um, hopefully the food will contribute to that a little bit as well. Then I've got work from 3 to 8, and then relaxing. Now, because I was working fairly intensively, and by fairly I mean very, I did 13 hours, 4 days, 10 hours, another day. That's like, let's do the math. Um, so we'll just do the 10s, 50 hour week. Uh, even at that, that's enough. Uh, for this. So it's a 62 hour week. That's Monday to Friday. I'm still working today at the, the club, um, which isn't as, it's not as manually labor intensive, but it's still work. Uh, and then tomorrow I actually have off. But guess what? I'll probably be doing something like overseeing any grande, family, friends, whatever. Don't know yet. So, but. Things are happening, um, and I do also need to start revising for the final elements of my uh, PT course, things like that there, so th there are things to do, and I'm, I'm very busy, so because I've only got work at three, I think, after I train, I will just relax a little bit, and then after work, I'll probably come up, because by that stage, it'll be time to have something to eat before I go to bed, um, and then food-wise, the plan's to have three meals, kind of main, more main-ish meals. Or maybe, like, I, I do like a good hearty breakfast, so I'll have a solid breakfast. And then I'll maybe have something to eat whenever I get hungry. Then I'll have dinner, maybe in a normal time, like, I don't know, 6 p.m. Um, <laughs> crazy things. And then I'll just cap off my macros when I get home, and then I'll be fine, I'll not worry about it. So, I don't know, I'll figure out as and when it happens, but I don't, it's not something to stress about. And it's definitely something I'm trying to, I'll play around with for a while until I find, you know, because like, it should be a case of just, oh, I'm hungry, make something. And then just just plug it in. It doesn't have to be exactly that. So I've got I've got my my breakfast written down. The numbers are not a quarter of my macros for the day. I don't know what they are, but uh, I think that's a that's a fairly nice a good updated chit chatty. Here's what we're we're working with, and this is the what we're trying to do in the future. So there's no time to have breakfast. And bam, there is breakfast. So we've got some strawberry cream oats. Um, mixed fruit and cream. Some people have been asking about recipe and things. That will be coming tomorrow. Morning cup of joe. So, get the stormy and we'll get outside and start training. Look at that wee mucker there. That's uh, me. Uh, it's like, I don't know, two, three, four. Let's go four, five actually. And that's my sister. That's some Scottish guard. That was us when we were young and I just realised, oh, there are keys sitting. I can't get out of the house because it's probably still locked. But um, let's see, so that was us when we were very young. I we went for a trip to Scotland. No, I have no memory of this trip to Scotland. I do have a memory of wearing a gladiator top though. Good times of being young. Um, so here we go, it's nice and bright outside. 
So, no excuse not to see well for this workout. Um, so yeah, that was like years and years ago when we were out on a family holiday across the Scotland. So there you go, just a wee bit of backgroundy stuff. So here we go, chest and back workout. Need to get some stuff from the shed. I believe we're going for 70 kilograms for six on chest press and 50. Five is it? Kilograms for bent over pendlay rows. We shall see though. Hello, oh, it's all written down. Oh, I don't pay attention that much. And it's clearly been cold overnight because there's condensation on the bars. So let's hope that my tarpaulin cover there has done its job and uh, prevented any dampness and moisture because there's nothing worse. Oh, then um, getting on your bench and it's, it's all wet and oof, does not make for, for conducive gains. So, anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so it's like half ten. I've just finished working out. Um, I do not remember the last time that I didn't have to worry about time, or or for time to be a factor, having to either be finished to get to work or it being the last thing at night. We want to get to bed afterwards. Um, so that was weird. Good liberating, nice. Um, still prefer lifting first thing. I'm really getting that out of the way. But hey, 
I, I need I needed to relax today. I needed to be an easier day. So it turns out it was um, the numbers were seventy kilogram for six on flat bench and sixty five kilogram for elevated panic rows. So nailed it. Really, really good workout. Everything's feeling really good. Strength is there. Recovery's been awesome. The things are going well, so I am progressing, and and it's good. So all I have to do is keep it up, basically. Um, and then whenever things change, things change. So um, I imagine sometime soonish, or certainly I would say over the next month by November, we'll be uh, reworking the program and things like that. There, uh, making more specific goals, or uh, yeah, more specific goals, basically towards. Uh, my needs, so there you go. That was that, so very happy with how that workout went. Just got a cheeky post workout hot chocolate uh, with some whipped cream there. Just fancied it really, so haven't had chocolate in ages, so why not? So uh, yeah, enjoy this. Waiting for the heating to come on so I can have a shower and I'll be watching some of that 24 hour Cosmo stream because I'm like halfway through it now. So I'll probably like skim through that because I don't know if I can watch the whole thing anymore. but. It is good. Just had a wee snack there. That was a tomato mug shot. Looks like that, uh, only with tomato in it. And uh, a wee little bit of coconut yogurt there. So now I'm going to make my dinner for when I have it at work. Uh, I'm thinking of having some similar like chicken fried rice. So uh, we'll put that together now. So cooking time. Well, there is our finished product. So that is literally just. Basmati rice, chicken, vegetables, um, bit of passata, garlic powder, mixed herbs, a couple of spices, this, that and the other, um, and an egg. So, lovely, standard chicken fried rice, a bit of bottle of juice, and then that's me good to go to work, so see you after them. Alright, in from work, and here is my little mini kick, and that's cookies and cream, some fruit in there, so I'm... Um, Tired, ready to have a sit down. <clears throat> he doesn't get ready to go to bed. So there you have it. That's been the day for me. Um, so yeah, I think I had a good little chat in the morning about things that um, we're looking to do and change and this, that, and the other. So, but all in all, very quiet day. There's very little I can do when the middle of my day is used up uh, with nothing. So, or work rather, but nothing that you can see. So, oh yeah, there you have it. There's another one down, and um, I reckon that'll about do it. So. Gonna go enjoy this. So as always, thanks for watching. I'm Pete Mercer, Shona Mercy, and of course, take it easy.